Welcome back. Welcome if you are new. Olivia here at the Olivia's Romantic Tech Home. In today's video, I'm going to share with you some fun and easy DIY Dollar Tree decor crafts. So this is another episode in my huge Let's Stay Home series. I'm staying at home and using all of the crafting supplies that I already have, and I encourage you to do the same. Um, shop your house for home decor and crafting supplies, and if you don't have it on hand, you can always save this video and go out at another their time and buy the supplies. So without further ado, go ahead and plug in your glue guns, get out your glitter and paint, and let's get to crafting. For the first Dollar Tree DIY, I want to take some Dollar Tree contact paper and some of my little sink side hand lotion and hand soap, and I want to give them a makeover. I'm just going to be repurposing and reusing all of the bottles I have from now on and just refilling them um, when they become empty. And so I'm removing the label and then I'm taking this Dollar Tree contact paper. I actually had the blue and white one or the black and white one in mind. And for this set of DIY, Wise, I decided to go with the black and white contact paper. I'm going for kind of a French farmhouse theme and I also used this black and white contact paper a lot in my kitchen so it's going to match some of my cupboards. So the contact paper is really easy to use. It already has lines on the back so once you cut your contact paper to size you can just double check and make sure that it fits properly. I ended up having to cut a little bit more off and I will tell you that the contact paper had a little tiny bit of a ripple as you go around. Maybe if you don't care for that, you could just go ahead and cut it a little bit smaller. But I did want to go ahead and have my contact paper kind of fit over the whole bottle. So once I had the correct size, I just went ahead and gently placed it on the bottle and then gently kind of wrapped it in and around the bottle. I think this is such a fun way to give your everyday cleaning supplies a little makeover and you can see my helper over there bringing some more of the cleaning supplies to me now again this is just my sink side um, hand lotion and hand soap and I also ended up doing my dish soap we all use this and we're all adults in my household and so I knew exactly what was going to be in them now you would want to mark them and um, if the, it's going to be anything that's going to be used by kiddos um, but again we're all pretty much adults in my home and we use this hand soap and hand lotion over and over so anyway I went ahead and did this with my um, hand soap and I just think this is so adorable I love this black and white print and I think this is just such a fun way to make over a good old plastic bottle you guys could really do this with pretty much any of them and then I even decided to jazz up my dish soap just to make it a little bit more fun and fabulous since we all are doing a lot of cleaning now and you guys can see the contact paper doesn't go on exactly completely smoothly but keep working with it and have fun with it you could also even mod podge some pretty napkins um, to your bottles or whatnot now how adorable is this with our super cute french farmhouse theme For the next DIY, we're actually going to take an old tissue box and I'm just going to cut the top of it off. I want to create a really cute little storage container to store some of my crafting supplies and go ahead and hang on to any tissue boxes or cereal boxes because we are going to be doing some really fun trash to treasure projects in the upcoming weeks. So once I cut the top of my tissue box off, I'm just going to cut some contact paper to fit the size of my tissue box. Now, if you don't have contact paper, for this project you could also use fabric or you could decoupage some 
pretty um, napkins or a tissue to the front of your box. You could even paint your box. Um, I've done that before, but get creative again and use what you have. Um, this ended up turning out so much better than I was hoping for. Did you guys love it when a project goes a little bit better than planned? And definitely not all of my projects do that, but this one I was pretty pleased with. So I completely covered my little tissue box all around the sides. And then I have this cute little graphic from graphicsfairy.com. I will leave their link down below, but I just Googled French farmhouse labels and I found this cute little French label. And then I'm adding some Mod Podge to the back of it. And then I also added some Mod Podge to the front of it to seal it off. Now, once I had the um, label Mod Podge to the front, I went ahead and went in with some really cute little ribbon. It was kind of a burlap ribbon, and I just began to add some dabs of hot glue to every corner, and then I did run even a little bit more hot glue down some of the edges to make sure it stayed on there nice and easy. So just run a little line down that, and then you can just continue to work your way around. Again, dig into your stash. You'll be so surprised as to what you really have. I've really been trying to use what I have and I'm so surprised every time I go into my stash of craft goodies that I forget how much ribbon I have or how much um, stuff that I have. So I'm really interested to see how creative we're going to be over the next couple of weeks. It's actually kind of a little bit of an exciting challenge for me. Um, I grew up on 100 acres with a very little TV, so I was always creative and I feel like this is just really bringing out some creativity. So I'm adding this cute little burlap flower to the front and then I'm going to go ahead and use some Dollar Tree twine and I'm going to just tie some little shoelace bows to add to the front of this. Again, get creative and use whatever you have. You could add jewels or roses or whatever you have. And then I'm also adding some of that twine around the top. I wanted to kind of add the twine around the top to kind of mix it in with how the rest of the project was. So I'm going to Again, for that French farmhouse kind of rustic glam is really what I love. And I want to, I'm hoping to make some more of these to match this one. Now, how adorable is this, you guys? Oh my goodness. I ended up popping some burlap into it, um, but I want to make a couple of more because I am working on organizing my craft room, like seriously trying to get things to come together and really organize them. Let me know if you guys have any really great solutions for craft storage. I just feel like there's so many different moving parts to the amount of craft supplies that I have. I just haven't come up with an awesome way, but I am going to be redoing a lot of things. So for the next DIY. We're going to repurpose some more trash to treasure here. I'm taking this old Prego jar and again another beautiful um, image from graphicsfairy.com. This was just a little French label image. It's a French soap label image. So when you go to graphicsfairy.com all you have to do is Google French um, label, French soap label. And so I'm just taking some Mod Podge and I'm Mod Podging it to the front of this spaghetti jar. This is just a spaghetti jar. I've been using a lot of things out of my pantry lately. Um, my kiddos love spaghetti and meatballs, so I have several spaghetti jars saved. So if you guys have spaghetti jars or pickle jars, definitely be saving those. We're going to be repurposing and reusing those and just making them beautiful with whatever we have in our craft stash. Now, if you're not able to print out something from the graphics fairy like I did with this label, get creative and look at what pretty napkins you might have on hand. You could also even Mod Podge some lace or fabric, and that might be a fun upcoming DIY. I know a lot of you all say that you Mod Podge lace to jars. I haven't tried that craft yet, but I think that's definitely on my to-do list. And then once I had my pretty label on, I dug into my craft stash again and I found this beautiful vintage um, trim that a wonderful little subscriber had sent me. I've been hanging on to it for 
probably almost a year now and finally finding a way to use it. So I'm just hot gluing in and around the top of my Prego spaghetti jar and adding this beautiful piece of trim. I've done jar jars like this and gotten really fancy with them. So I did add this beautiful little bling jewel. I get all of my bling jewels off of totallydazzle.com. You'll have to check them out. Natalie is so sweet and they're so affordable if you love to get a little bit of glam. But if you don't want to order jewels, you can also use an old piece of jewelry or maybe a sentimental piece of jewelry. It would be a nice gift um, to give eventually. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, we're going to take this Let It Snow sign and an another image from the graphicsfairy.com. Again, the images that I find on there are totally free. This was just a French farmhouse rooster image that I printed and then I cut out and I just print it on regular paper and then I mod podged the back of the image and then I mod podged over the front of the image just to get it on there really good. I want to make a really cute little French farmhouse kitchen sign to go in my kitchen. I think this is such a fun and fabulous way to decorate especially if you love kind of the shabby chic farmhouse vibe. Now of course I did have to go a little bit extra and add some ribbon to the bottom. I'm also covering up where I had pulled um, that let it snow sign lettering off and if you don't have the, sn the snow sign on hand you can always use any kind of painted board or wood or you could even just frame this and add some embellishments around your frame so again get creative this is such a fun time to really think outside the box on what you guys already might have um, and so I'm just adding some more little burlap rosettes to the base of this I ended up using three I do order my burlap rosettes from burlapfabric.com there will be a coupon code for you guys below if you're interested and then I also have this cute little thankful sign. This is just one of those little silver lettering signs that you get at the Dollar Tree. It came off of another project. I'm repurposing and reusing it and just hot gluing it to the top of this. I feel like I need a daily reminder to be thankful right now. Comment and let me know if you guys are with me on that one. And really we do have so much to be thankful for. So here it is all together. I'm just loving this and I'm so thankful for you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for continuing to watch my videos and thank you for commenting. Please let me know how you're doing. It really just helps warm my heart. It gives me an opportunity also to pray for you all and others as well. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to take this today's prayer card and I'm going to go ahead and use one of those little Dollar Tree scrolly mirrors. And I just added some hot glue to the top of the mirror and then I just added the prayer card inside of that. Now for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to take this Dollar Tree vase and it's just some of these inexpensive little goodies. I have a bundle of lavender and then a bundle of lamb's ear and some greenery, but use whatever florals you have on hand. I'm pretty sure most of you guys have some little bits and bobs here and there. I'm going to make a really easy floral arrangement. Again, this is kind of going along with my French farmhouse theme. So I just popped it in to this um, glass vase jar and you guys could stop here. I think it makes a beautiful arrangement. Or you could go a little extra and add some burlap or some pretty fabric around your jar just to kind of dress it up. I'm also kind of hiding these stems just a bit because they didn't really match. And so I just thought that would be a fun way to kind of dress this up and give it again a little bit of that French farmhouse theme. So I just hot glued the burlap directly to the glass jar and then I decided again to go a little extra and add some pretty lace. I forgot about this lace that was in my stash. Um, and so I just did just go ahead and hot glue that in and around the center part of my glass face jar. Thank you. 
So here is how everything is looking. I am crushing on this French farmhouse for springtime. It's so fresh and so fabulous. And I have been working on decorating my home. And so I cannot wait to share with you guys some new areas of home decor, just moving things around and rearranging them. And then I had this fun little kind of quote that I found. And it says, in the darkest times, even small acts of kindness can shine so much light. And in this little flame, our own fears are also killed with kindness. And so I just really want to encourage all of you all to be kind, reach out to one another, leave kind comments. Um, and if you have any prayer requests, again, please leave your prayer requests down below. It gives this community an opportunity to connect with one another and pray with one another. And again, I have to thank you all for being here. It is such a blessing and an honor and you all just warm my heart and I just have to give your hearts a hug right now and know that I am with you. We're going to get through this together and I hope these crafts are bringing you some joy and I encourage you to keep plugging in those glue guns, keep getting out your glitter and paint and even if your project isn't perfect, trust me because sometimes I feel like mine definitely <laughs> needs some work keep going and keep trying and i just want to tell y'all how much i love y'all thank you for being here so thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafty decor adventure it is such a blessing and an honor to have you all here i'm gonna hug all of your hearts so tight and encourage you to keep up the good work crafting and decorating tidying check on your friends and family send them a text give them a phone call um, I know it always helps me. I also have the Levy's Romantic Home Facebook group page. It's totally free to join that group. Request to join, I'll approve your request, and you can post photos of your home decor and your DIY projects over there. That community is so fun and fabulous. So thank you all for all of the inspiration. Thank you for all of the kind comments and the encouragement. It really helps keep me going, I'm making videos for you all. Um, it's a blessing and an honor to have you all here. I also have an old these romantic home Instagram page. If you guys want to pop over there, I share just a little behind the scenes of what I have going on and how we're getting through all of this as well. So know that we're all in this together. And I just want to thank everybody that's getting, that has to get out there in the healthcare industry, in the food supply industry, everybody that is um, just out there working. I want to pray blessing over you all and protection over you all. I also just want to hug all of your hearts so tight and let you all know that we are in this together and you're not alone. So keep going. Drop your prayer request down below. I know this is a praying community and I just love y'all. I can't wait for the next video. I'm here for you. Remember, be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another. Until then, we will talk to you later. Bye.